Hey everybody, good morning. This is Jason Akers with Green Acres Pest Control. And today we're gonna talk about some of the worst things that you can do as a homeowner. Uh, a lot of people don't recognize, a lot of people don't realize these things can actually be extremely harmful for your home, uh, cost you a lot of money. And I just wanna go over them really quick. Uh, the only real thing I'm gonna touch on here in this video is uh, using mulch around the outside of your home. Now, I know a lot of mulch salesmen will tell you that your mulch has been treated, that uh, you know it's, it's safe to use it, you're not gonna have any bugs, you're not gonna have anything because, oh, our mulch is treated, our mulch is wonderful, you don't have to worry about insects or any termites or anything like that in your mulch. And while all this may be true, the problem is, is that the treatment doesn't last when you lay it on the ground. Um, you're putting mulch around your home. Now this is for pine bark mulch and any wood mulch that you would put around your home except for maybe cypress or uh, maybe cedar, but termites will eat cedar mulch too. Um, now when I say termites, I'm really talking about uh, the eastern subterranean termite. I'm not really familiar with Famosin or uh, drywood termites, but I know that mulch, a lot of times that people will actually bring uh, mulch, entire nests of ants uh, in a mulch load, and you'll lay the mulch around the house and the carpenter ants are there in the mulch uh, it's not a very good thing to put around the house because it really attracts all kinds of bugs, termites, and things like that. The thing is that when mulch is treated, you know, one of the things a lot of the, uh, you know, like I was saying, the, the mulch guys will tell you, landscapers, whatever you call them, uh, they like to say that, you know, you won't have to worry about bugs or anything living in the mulch because the mulch treated. The thing is, is that when you treat mulch and then you lay it on the ground, the, a lot of the things they use to treat mulch is really good as long as, the, uh, as, long as it doesn't get wet. Um, and of course, when you lay mulch on the ground, the, the ground is wet always. I mean, you get vapor come up out of the ground all the time and it will actually cause the mulch to uh, decompose and it gets, uh, that's why you have to replace your mulch about once a year, sometimes two or three times a year. It just depends on your uh, geographical location and the amount of rain and stuff like that that you get. And so what happens is as it rains on it and as the uh, water evaporates from the soil and gets on in it, it causes the uh, whatever treatment they've done to the mulch to wear out. Now, um, and then that allows for termites, which live in the ground. And like I said, we're really just talking about Eastern subterranean termites. Uh, Eastern subterranean termites live underground. They come up and they gather food, which is wood, and they take it back down and they feed the colony of termites underground. So what happens is as they come up and they start teeming around that mulch, now they're only inches away from your uh, plates, uh, floor joists, um, you know, your seal, seal joists, seal plates, all of those, you know, major structural parts of your home. Uh, once they tunnel up over the plates and the joists, then they get into your wall studs. They eat your drywall, baseboards, uh, hardwood floors. Um, I've seen them go up, you know, three stories and come out around a ceiling fan. Um, they'll do, you know, they can just do massive damage to your house and all because you didn't want weeds to grow up around your house. Now, there are things you can put around the house, as in like a mulch bed, that is effective for termite control. Um, pine needles are really good. Termites don't eat pine needles. Now, you will still get things like spiders and maybe cockroaches and stuff might try to live in the pine needles, but you're not gonna get any, uh, you're not gonna get termites eating things like that. Um, you can also put down uh, like crushed red brick, uh, decorative stone. I've even seen people put down like pea gravel and even, uh, you know, like regular driveway gravel. 
and stuff around the house or pave little sidewalks and stuff like that that's that you know you can make it look pretty nice not have weeds and tall grass and stuff right up next to the house so you don't have to weed eat around the house and everything like that so there are things that you can do as far as you know prettying up your house and making the outside look nice what they call it curb appeal um you know you can there are things you can do that doesn't require putting down wooden mulch around your home um now i touched on this earlier a couple of other things that mulch attracts to the house um silverfish uh cockroaches your know, wood roaches oriental cockroaches love to live in mulch um spiders you know and like i said in termites you know carpenter ants uh, not just carpenter ants, but all kinds of ants love to live under mulch. The thing that a lot of people don't realize is mulch actually holds a lot of heat. It gets really hot underneath mulch. A lot of times in the summer, you can go out with like a pitchfork or a shovel and you can turn your mulch over and you can find little areas of ash where the mulch will start to combust on its own because of the heat that builds up underneath the mulch bed um so you just it's not good to put around the house i actually had a customer one time who the mulch the mulch actually caught on fire uh and ended up burning part of his house it didn't burn the house down but it caught the siding of his house on fire and uh, it put it smoldered out. Luckily, it didn't actually end up burning, you know, any more than what it did just around the edges of his siding. But the thing is, it's not safe to put around the house. Um, now that doesn't happen in every case, you know. That's a rare occurrence, but it does occur. So you got to think about that when you when you need to put mulch around your foundations. Uh, you don't if you don't want bugs in your house and I'm guessing if you if you watch much of my channel you probably don't like bugs at all because <laughs> I mean I talk a lot about you know killing different things and getting rid of your ants and your crickets and your you know termites and bed bugs and all the different things that people get in their home uh, you know if you put mulch around your house you may, you're more or less just inviting um, you know these these kind of insects and creepy crawlies and things like that into your home uh spiders love to live in mulch uh and like i was saying the cockroaches one thing about oriental cockroaches is they like to live in any can anything that's decaying any decaying matter uh you know leaf debris you know and you know say say you live out in the woods and you don't really put mulch around the house but you get a lot of leaves that fall down on the ground you want to make sure you rake those away from your house you want to blow them away from the house with a leaf blower you know something like that you really want to try to get away from you know get away any debris that that lands up next to the foundation of your home and keep it really clean also one thing and i'm just going to touch on this real quick i talked about this in one of my live streams now i do my live streams on, uh, I used to do them every Friday night, but my schedule is so busy during the summer and the spring weather that I really don't have time to do it during the week. So I, I, uh, I really handle it more on the weekends now. I've started doing my live streams on Saturday night. So if you, if you're, uh, you know, some of my older videos may say in there, you know, hey, I'll do my live stream on Friday night or whatever, but I've, I've actually changed that. Um, all of my recent live streams are going to be done on Saturdays now. So if you guys, uh, you know subscribe to me click the notification bell so you get those notifications when i'm live but uh what i was going to say is that a lot of times people will let their bushes and stuff like that like they'll have uh boxwoods and you know rhododendron and thing like that things like that growing right up next to the house holly bushes and stuff and that's really bad for your home too you don't want bushes because what will happen is they'll hold moisture right up next to the wall of your house and they will cause water rot, you know, from uh, mold and mildew. Um, and they harbor bugs and stuff too right up next to the foundation. What I usually tell people to do when they have bushes next to the house is you want to keep them trimmed back away from the house about two to three feet. This will allow you to walk comfortably right next to the foundation of your home and you don't have to worry about it holding in any kind of water or humidity or anything like that right up next to the house. And 
you know, if you're really concerned about the weeds and stuff growing between the bushes in the house, like I said, you could put down like that plastic and lay down some nice gravel or uh, like I said, crushed red bricks, not very expensive. You can do that. And the thing about brick and stone is it will last forever. You know, it stone's not going to rot away. Uh, mulch will, and you will have to replace the mulch, you know, like I said, two times a year, sometimes once a year, just depends on where you live. So I hope this video has been informative. Ask any questions you need in the, in the comments below, and I, uh, I guess I'll just be talking to you guys later. Like I said, like and subscribe to my videos, uh, share them around. It really does help the channel. Really appreciate it, and you guys have a really great day. Thanks.